Can you be friends with someone who doesn't share the same beliefs as you? No. <laughs> That's what we're asking after Ellen DeGeneres was spotted hanging out with former President George W. Bush at the Dallas Cowboys football game. Social media lost its mind. And now Ellen is defending their friendship on her show. Let's watch. I'm friends with George Bush. In fact, I'm friends with a lot of people who don't share the same beliefs that I have. We're all different, and I think that we've forgotten that that's okay, that we're all different. But just because I don't agree with someone on everything doesn't mean that I'm not going to be friends with them. When I say be kind to one another, I don't mean only the people that think the same way that you do. I mean be kind to everyone. That so, interesting topic. If you didn't know, Bush was famous for trying to have a constitutional amendment to ban same-sex marriages. So, a lot of people felt this was a betrayal of sort of a gay icon like Ellen to George W. Bush. I protested the Bush inauguration. I really thought he stole the election. Uh, but I have grown to really like how he's evolved. What do you guys think? Yeah. I definitely think that there's merit there because she's been an advocate for this community in such a loud way, and, and that's important, an important cause. But I think that she, that she, you also have to understand that she's also friends with Jenna and his other daughter, and his other daughter did campaign in New York against, I mean, for gay marriage. And so you have a, a, a dichotomy where you have an entire family and you're yeah. sitting there like, okay, are you not going to like somebody's father who has old school ways that doesn't agree with what you think now? And who's, who's to say that Bush hasn't evolved? He intentionally stayed out of politics. He was on her show in 2017. Yeah. He danced his way to the stage. You know, it just seems very interesting that people can't be friends but also disagree about specifically politics. And it's like, are, are you going to have a, a problem with Michelle Obama for the handshake that she had with uh, uh, George Bush and all? But I'm on the fence with this one because this is called At the 50. It's a thing with Cowboys games. Uh, Jerry Jones's daughter, that she's in charge of that box, and she tries to hire, a, I mean, bring in and invite a real diverse crowd. Now, it's a networking event for a lot of people, and like you said, he's been on the show. There seems to be friends. She just said it that they're friends. I don't know why people are at home or people on Twitter and social media feel as though that this person that's supposed to be the gay icon or LGBTQ or maybe the black icon is supposed to use a venue like this to go and be like, hey, in 2004, you tried to push this amendment. That just looks stupid. And you're not gonna get that point across there. So I, I, I don't understand why people want, like what do people expect her to do, Al, in that moment? I don't know if people, ex I think people always think that you are the voice of something. Mm -hmm. You are the face of this movement at all times. Right. Sometimes you're just Ellen sitting next to George. At a yeah. And I game, think a yeah. lot of people are like that because let's take these two strangers, these two people that you'll never know and never meet, and let's take it for all the people that had an issue with them talking. What about your uncles that you disagree with? Yeah. Do you still break bread with yeah. them at Thanksgiving? Do you still love your dad even though he said something silly about women wearing pants 10 years ago yeah. and has evolved? <laughs> exactly. It's like, but you, can, can people get yeah. better? And also, I would make the argument that George Bush and Ellen have more in common than Ellen does with any other person that uh, agrees with her ideologically because they're both in the 1%. Right. Yeah. They talk about where they're going to summer, what they're going to do with their houses in Santa Barbara, it's a totally different wh where they're going to park their yeah. yacht in the Mediterranean. Right. Y'all ain't talking about that at the no. 50? No, I'm not. And who yeah. knows? I'm like, where's the beer? <laughs> exactly. And, and who knows what charity or what programs that those two talked about that like, hey, you know, we had a good time. We had a couple beers at the Cowboys. Cowboys lost that game, by the way. We had a couple beers. Now let's talk next week and see how how we can help the LGBTQ yeah. community. Well, DBL Nation, uh, let us know if you think you can be friends with someone who differs widely from you. Go Giants! All right, good ending.